Hi friends, today I am headed into several different thrift stores. I'm going to be looking for items that I can flip to make some fun fall decor for my front porch. And I'm going to bring you along with me and give you some tips and tricks of things to be on the lookout for in your stores so that you can decorate your porch for fall on a budget as well. Okay, so of course I'm going to be looking for actual fall seasonal decor that they should have out right now, but I'm also going to be looking for other things that I can flip and turn into some great fall porch decor. So let's see what we can find. One thing I'm going to be on the lookout for are containers that I can fill with pumpkins, like things like baskets or um, bins or crates. So I'm gonna be watching for those. Something like this wire basket, I think was probably a clothes hamper with a canvas bag or something inside of it. This could be really good for putting pumpkins or something in on the porch. So I'm spotting a crate right over there. I'm gonna go check it out. So right away I'm seeing that it's in kind of rough shape. It's just plywood, um, not anything really pretty. It could be painted, um, it's sturdy. Um, I don't see a price on it, so depending on what they want for it, I might get that. I always like to look at the pictures and the frames because sometimes you find something really cool, like this sign. As far as actual fall decor, this store didn't have very much and um, it wasn't really anything I was interested in. So I'm gonna move on to another store. Okay, I see something this intrigues me because it looks like a plate holder, but it kind of also looks like a little ladder. And I think I could make something out of this. It's broken up here, but that's okay. If they don't want too much, because I did not find a price on it. But if they don't want too much, I'm gonna get this. Got it for $3.59. I think I'm gonna be able to turn it into something really cute. So at this next store, they have a lot more fall themed items. So I'm going to be watching for things that I can use as embellishments or accents. Here's some of those styrofoam pumpkins from Dollar Tree. These are 50 cents here. So that's a better than $1.25. You could paint them up and use them again. This store has a lot of wood items. I noticed this little crate up here. It's actually from a Melissa and Doug toy, but I think it would be good to make a centerpiece or something in, and it's only $1.50. I really like this wood box. I even love the color and the distressing on it. Um, this could be really cute to make a centerpiece in or just pile some little pumpkins in and put it out on the porch. Here's some fall floral things that I found and so I'm going to see if any of them are cheap enough that I want to pick them up to maybe pull them apart and use the florals and greenery in my own projects. This store is not the cheapest. This is $11.49. I think that that's a little expensive. Up here is a fall wreath and it's not got a lot in it. It's $12.99. I, I think that's a little much as well. I usually just kind of compare of what I could get at Dollar Tree uh, as compared to what I'm seeing at the thrift store. If I feel like it's a better deal at the thrift store, then I'll pick it up there. This little picnic basket caught my eye. It's $7 and it is not in the greatest shape, but if I wanted to remove everything from the inside and fill it with some pumpkins and leaves and stuff, this could be really cute on the front porch. 
So here's everything that I picked up in my thrift haul today. I also made an extra stop at Family Dollar and found this trick or treat sign, which I have transformed into this stacking pumpkin sign. I will leave the link to this video in the card above and also in the description box below so you can check that out. But for now, let's get back to my thrift flips. So here is that plate rack that I picked up and I, I think I'm going to just go ahead and leave it the black color. I'm going to clean it up because it's kind of dirty and then I'm going to touch up some of the black paint. I thought I would remove that embellishment that's on the top, but actually I've come up with a plan to just put something over the top of it. And so I'm going to get busy on this and turn it into a cute little display for the porch. So like I said, I'm just going to clean this up with a damp cloth, get all the dust and dirt off of it, and then I am going to take these hooks from the bottom and I am going to move them up to the top of this plate rack um, because I want to actually hang something from the hooks instead of uh, setting something on them like you would on a plate rack. Next, I am going to take some black chalk paint and touch up some of those places that were broken. I actually have already put some on there and touched up those. And then I'm going to be using these two little wood pumpkins that I picked up at Dollar Tree. These have just been in my stash, but they do have similar ones um, this year as well. And so I'm going to be placing those on the top, but I'm going to be leaving that one leaf that is intact from the original embellishment and I'm going to be painting it to incorporate it into the design. So I'm going to be using this sage green chalk paint to paint that one leaf. I am trying to not to fill in the veins of the leaf all the way and let kind of the black show through that, just to give this a little bit more depth and show that veining in the leaf and so I did actually take a stylus and remove a little bit of the paint that got in there just so they would show better. Next I'm going to take those two pumpkins from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use my heat tool to help remove that bow from the top of each of those and then I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper to uh, try and sand off the letters on them. Uh, I do know that uh, it does take several coats of paint to cover them up because I've used these before. So I'm going to try and sand them a little bit to uh, maybe help with that. So I didn't have the patience to completely sand that all off. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint my pumpkin. I'm using a chiffon cream chalk paint. This is just an off-white uh, by Rust-Oleum. And I'm going to give this pumpkin several coats until you aren't able to see that letter on the front anymore. I'm going to use this pumpkin colored chalk paint by Waverly. Uh, that I picked up at Walmart for this pumpkin. It was a little too orange for me. I wanted it to be more of the color that it originally was, more of that red orange. So I am going to mix some red paint into some of the orange and try to match that a little bit better. And then I'll just finish painting this pumpkin with a couple coats of that red orange that I mixed. I do want these pumpkins to still have a distressed look, so I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper and sand off some of the paint on the edges and uh, rough them up a little bit just so um, it doesn't look so uh, just one solid color. This just gives it a little bit of a worn look. And I can't see where I sanded on the orange pumpkin very well, so I did decide to go ahead and do a little dry brushing. I'm just going to use that chiffon cream and dry brush on the edges and a little bit um, over the top surface of this pumpkin just to give it a little more dimension. And of course, since I dry brushed the one, I need to add some to the white pumpkin as well. So I'm going to use a little bit of black chalk paint and just uh, go over the white pumpkin lightly. 
I wanted to add a little embellishment around the top of the stem of the pumpkin, so I'm just going to wrap a little bit of jute twine and tie a knot on each of the pumpkins. I also decided it would be cute to add some of this fall berry garland from Dollar Tree, so I just wrapped a little bit around that and then curled the ends of it um, using a pencil. So now I'm going to take my plate holder and I am going to add my pumpkins to the top of this and I'm going to put them over to one side so that leaf is still showing on the right side. Since this will be outside, I am using some E6000 to glue my pumpkins down. I'm also using a little bit of hot glue just to hold them in place while that E6000 sets up. And now all that's left is to add these little wire baskets from Dollar Tree. They fit perfectly on these hooks. This is one good reason to know what your Dollar Tree carries because this is what I imagined when I first saw this plate holder in the thrift store. and they fit perfectly. Then I just added some raffia and some fall florals as well as some real pumpkins and also some little faux pumpkins from Dollar Tree to the baskets. Put this by my front door and I think it is perfect. This next item that I picked up at the thrift store was this gather sign. This was originally from Hobby Lobby. The original price was $25.99. It did go on clearance for $6.99. I paid $3.99 at the thrift store. And I'm really not going to do much with this. I did kind of straighten out some of the metal on the word because it was bent up a little bit. I also touched up a little bit of the black paint and uh, I did use a matte finish paint. I should have used more of a gloss. Um, I may go back over that, but that's all I'm really doing to this sign other than adding a jute twine hanger in between the hangers that are already on the sign, just because I have a single nail outside on my porch already there that I wanna hang this on. I'll show you that in a minute, but first I'm going to show you how I transformed the baskets that I got. So we're gonna start with this picnic basket that I picked up for $7, and I am going to remove the top part off of the lid and, um, at first I thought I would just try to remove the straps, but it was too hard to get those off. So I'm just cutting the uh, fishing line thread that's holding this on and I'm going to just completely discard that. Then I'm going to take some Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going to just brush this on the basket. I'm going to try it on the bottom first just to see how I like it, but I kind of want to darken up the basket a little bit just to make it a little bit more of a rich color that kind of uh, goes with that fall feeling better. So I'm going to do that on all sides of the basket and on the inside of the lid as well. Then I just found a couple of things that fit inside the basket that I could use as filler and put those in. And then I am going to use actually this canvas bag just to cover that up. It's just one I had from Dollar Tree and it fit in there nicely. And um, you could use something fun like a uh, fabric that has a print for your favorite football team since it's fall is football season, or just a scrap piece of fabric from the Dollar Tree uh, just to cover up whatever you're using as a filler in your basket. But I'm just gonna go with this canvas bag. 
Then I'm just going to start filling my basket and these are some leaves that I picked up one, at one of the thrift stores for just two dollars. I thought they were very pretty and it was a lot of leaves for two dollars. And I'm going to just add some pumpkins and just arrange them. I got some little squash and some um, nice colorful corn to put in there and just arrange this uh, so it's nice and full looking. And I just love how this looks sitting out close to our front door on the porch. And don't worry if you're not able to find a picnic basket or a basket with a lid like this one, just using a large basket uh, such as this. I picked this one up for $5.99 at one of the thrift stores. And I am just going to basically do the same thing. I didn't add any filler in this. I just uh, went ahead and put some leaves in the bottom of it and then just start arranging my pumpkins. I did find that I wanted something to kind of bring a little height so I did put a little wood crate from Dollar Tree in there and then just arranged my pumpkins and things and then uh, cut up a few of those leaves and just stuck them in wherever there was a little bit of a space that needed filling. And this was super easy. I didn't have to do anything to the basket. I just basically filled it up. And I love how this looks on our little table that's out on the patio. It just brings that fall color to that space. And uh, my husband enjoys looking out his office window at that because fall is his favorite season. So last Saturday, Chris and I decided to take a drive through some small towns and support some local businesses. And one of those was Red Barn Produce in Fruitland, Idaho. And they had such a great selection of pumpkins and gourds and just all the fall things for decorating their beautiful flowers. And so I picked up a variety of pumpkins and uh, fun things to use for decorating my porch. They had such a good variety. I probably bought a few more than I should have, but it really felt good to be supporting a local business. And I decided not to pick up any corn stalks because right off of our front porch is this cornfield. So when they harvest it, I'm planning on asking the farmer if I can pick a few of the leftover corn stalks. So you may recall that wire basket that I think was probably a laundry hamper at the thrift store. I did pick that up for $7 and then they wanted $3 for that plywood crate. So I did decide to get it and I'm using it to uh, kind of fill in the space in this uh, wire basket, uh, use it to set some pumpkins on to give some height. So that's another tip is to look for things that you can use on your porch for height, such as um, that uh, porch leaner sign and this taller uh, basket. Now I'm going to take some burlap that I had on hand and I'm going to just wrap this around to hide those crates that I stuck in the wire basket. Um, you can get burlap like at Walmart uh, if they sell fabric at your Walmart. Uh, it's pretty cheap so you can pick some up there and I'm just going to uh, kind of weave this in and around and uh, cover up those crates. Walmart sells these small bales of straw for about $7 and I just didn't want a lot of straw, like a full size straw bale. So I thought this was perfect so I was willing to pay that and I'm using it to set some pumpkins in front of that wire basket and so just building some different levels here. So I have pumpkins sitting on the ground and some on the straw bale and then I'm building some up in the top of that basket and so this just makes 
uh, a display that looks uh, bigger and gives it some good size because uh, a front porch usually is larger and so you need something a little bit a larger scale. I felt this needed a little bit more so I just took a couple of strands of the uh, leaf garlands from Dollar Tree and just wound them around and uh, kind of tucked them in and out where the burlap was and that just really finished this off. This is the first year that I've really done much decorating for fall and I have to say that we are really enjoying it. it just brings so much color to the front porch and uh, has gotten us in that fall spirit. So um, I highly recommend at least doing a little bit uh, just to brighten up your your outdoor space as well as your indoor space. Since this is my first video of the month, I will be giving away my Dollar Tree mystery box and I'll be announcing the winner here in just a moment. But if you would like to enter to win a random box of Dollar Tree items, usually those harder to find things, then be sure to like this video and leave a comment below. That's how you enter to win. And I will be announcing the winner of the October mystery box in my first video in November. And so the winner of the September Dollar Tree Mystery Box giveaway is Sharon Mercer. Congratulations, Sharon. I hope you all enjoyed coming to the thrift stores with me and turning these items into beautiful fall decor for the front porch. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out a whole lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.